Hey, what's going on? This is Codename Ace, and we're back with more Cyberpunk. Today we get to kind of roam a little bit. Uh, we meet the Tiger Claw. They're an interesting guy. But yeah, we test out our abilities, we test out our weapons, and we meet Dexter Deshaun. Uh, he's a fixer, basically a mission giver. Uh, thank you for everybody heading over to twitch.tv slash Codename Ace, checking it out live. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Where did Jackie go? Where did Jackie go? What are you looking at? of your memories for your eyes do not belong to you or rather not only 900 meters this car is very scary to drive i'm going to walk i may have to plug in my controller to, to drive Relax. He's wanted. Was he by himself? Let's try and hack him. This can go horribly wrong. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh shoot! They did so much damage so fast. The reward is $10.
How do I climb the ladder? Just a big gun. Gonna find you. Oh, there's two guys in there. There was a lot of people in there. Oh. He's here. That dash maneuver. I'm not here. You're not. You know what? That's what you call a samurai. That was crazy. I'm gonna use this knife. Oh, he backed up because he's smart. <laughs> you saw that? Crazy. That was weird. I couldn't like sneak up behind him. <laughs> All right. I was scared that I was going to jump off. I didn't kill this ripper dog. The tiger claws killed him. Oh. 
the heck was that? Oh, how do I use the... Okay. What is this scary Joker laugh? laughing who Go boys. Wait, how do I go to third person on the motorcycle? Oh, here we go. Woo! How do I photo mode? Motorcycles are so much better. Can't keep this anyway, so would you rather I lie? How did you get this? Did you sell your kidney or something? Maybe Moron. for the record, it's gorgeous. But the <laughs> your heart chakra looks a little out of whack, babe. I can release it for you, but you'd have to watch out for negative energy fields and avoid mean reds. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride. Oh. For you. Ain't but a hop to where he's uh -oh. parked. Next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Getting his heart chakra taken care of. Let's see what we got from that fight. Got a new pistol, which is better. Got a lot of weapons. Oh, got an attachment. The attachments that I was going to buy. Got no mods. Oh, no. They have no mods. What are you checking them out? 
Nah, v, listen, I've got this delicate matter. That's why I called you. The number of cyber psycho attacks in the city is on the rise. Now that's probably not news to you, but this issue matters to me for a few reasons. There are people who say cyber psychosis can be treated. Right. And I know exactly how that sounds, but I believe even an unproven therapy is still better than a bullet to the brain. If I get a tip about a possible attack, I'll give you a call. Maybe you can investigate before Max Tack hits the scene. But remember, you're not there to execute anybody. Try to incapacitate the attacker, and I'll send someone to pick him up. I hope that's all clear. Hmm. Ah, I see. Gotta sneak up on them. Knock them out. Or a blunt... Oh, taser? Non-lethal weapon. EMP grenades. Okay. Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I, I could not get his hairstyle. That would have been perfect for them. Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? First place or no place, no. Dex. No Cost way. isn't a factor. Sorry, I, I can't. <laughs> Classic. No. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scab home. Hang on. I got a question of my own now. Why all this, Dex? Why me? Could've had Jackie or T-Bug sitting here. Could've just done this on comms. Call me old-fashioned, but I like to look anyone I do biz with in the eye. Had the pleasure of meeting the Jackster in the past, and sweet T-Bug helped his brother out two years ago. So here we are. Besides all that, got a special little pre-mission just for you. But we'll get to that. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Job's to grab it. Simple. Yeah. Guessing it belongs to a court. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. <laughs> Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving in that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. The client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. Client, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Bet knew it wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End of convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leave you. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard.
got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a military convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know maelstroms involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say when, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate one Simon Randall, AKA Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now. And I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstorm, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Corporal agent, what you playing at? Hell if I know. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip tied in her trunk. Sounds like she was waiting on the transport. Got stood up. Monochrome in the back's probably her chief suspect. Got nothing from him or on him. So she's keeping him just in case. But she needs to find the stolen gear before her boss has learned she f***ed up. Well, Mr. V, that is some impressive deduction. Naturally, use that intel as you please. Preferably well. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. <laughs> Voice coming from. I think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now. What did he bring me? Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Didn't really get nod yet. The guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clapped it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the gang goons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile takeover. Hey man, I'm supposed that to walk. Sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent too, but I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha. <laughs> Shingon. Nick, you don't sound thrilled. Royce. What do you know about him? He's fucking whack something special. Junky snort junk. Royce snorts chrome. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, chat chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. He must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? What's first? Uh. Parker. I'm not afraid of anything. You gotta see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods and put my nose to the ground. Stick around. Let's go. Little Lizzie's bar between 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Guardians of the Galaxy? Life is full of disappointment. You so close? 
Oh god, nothing makes sense. You selling clothes or what? Oh, this is the fast travel. All right. We got a level up. We got a perk and an attribute. I can use the sniper rifle at level six body. But I think I need to be level 20 or something. Let's up that. Armor increased while moving. Okay. 15% chance of applying bleed. Increase attack speed with blades 10%. Man, there's so many stuff. I think I should up my pistol a little bit more. Headshot multiplier. Still no time? Go to the fight club. How far is that? 250. Okay, I shouldn't be running. I bump into so many people and they freak out. Wanted. He'll give me 60 street cred. Oh, give me that. I need that sword. It's bugged in the ground. No. 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 
No, it's bugged. Are you serious? Please. To the electric katana. Oh my, wait. No. No. Put electric katana. You know what? Ooh. I'm so mad. I got an electric katana, but it's stuck in the stairs. And there's no way for me to get it out. grenade at it oh what if why is the bike not working Oh shoot, he's gonna see the bodies. <laughs> 